What's up guys, Crush 17 here, and today I'm bringing you guys another Blacklight Retribution gameplay video. Um, I, here I'm playing a game of King of the Hill on the map called Decay. Uh, like this map, and uh, this is my first time playing the King of the Hill, and so far I'm not a huge fan of it on this game. I've honestly never been that big of a King of the Hill fan anyway, but uh, it's about the same on this as anything else. So if you like King of the Hill, you'll like it on here. Um, that's about all I got to say with that. Uh, as far as this gameplay goes, I don't really do a good job of capturing hills. I kind of spend most of my time trying to get kills. This isn't one of my better games, but it's one of the best ones that I've actually recorded in a while. Because I forget to record a lot. Um, I know my last few games I posted have been, were pretty good for me, as I said at the time. But honestly... As of now, my skills improved a lot more, and those games aren't really that good of games for me. I think my best game probably was like 25 kills, 5 deaths, something like that. Um, which isn't like pro at all, but it's pretty good for me. This game I don't do quite that good. Like I said, this is about an average match for me right here now. Um, I am using an SMG. I uh, finally unlocked that. Uh, this is one of my earlier games with it, so I haven't really got real used to it yet. Um, we'll say that one of the things about oh, this right here is stupid. What this enemy does right here, he shocks me with shot grenade, and then he doesn't come around and finish me off. Why doesn't he finish me off? I just, he just lets me come around the corner and get him. That was stupid. But uh, yeah, one thing I would say my biggest complaint with this game is the pricing on guns as far as the in-game currency goes. Guns and any gun attachments is it. As far as that goes, anyway, um, I do like that you can rent pre-made gun set builds. Um, that really helps a lot. Oh, this is stupid on me. I was trying to heal myself. He comes around the corner. And I was like, oh, maybe I can hit him with it. Well, you cannot hit him with the, uh, the health refill. Um, but anyways, like I was saying, the uh, guns and gun mods are a little too expensive. Pre-made guns are a good idea. I like that you can rent them and honestly I would say for people who are kinda casually playing the game that's gonna be your best option rather than trying to save up and pay for your own gun pieces um, as far as buying guns and gun mods permanently it just takes a long time to get all the uh, the points for that but uh, I finally saved up enough for a gun unlock that and right after this game I unlock a scope those as far as I'm level 11 now, and I've made enough GP just to do those two things. If that tells you how how much points it takes to unlock something permanently, um, it's a lot. But luckily, like I said, they have the option for renting pre-made weapons, and that is a good option. It's only like a day. Oh, that was funny. I, I love I love some of the commentary in this game. It's hilarious. Um, yeah, it's 200 GP to unlock a gun for a day, and that's really not hard. I mean, you can link your account with Facebook and get 200 GP a day just by doing that. And you can get that much points in probably two matches at maximum. You'll have 200 GP, so it's really not hard to unlock. F figure out a gun you like and unlock it for a day that's already pre-made and has all the pieces. I would recommend doing that and then just saving the rest of your in-game currency for equipment and stuff like that, which is also very expensive, but in my opinion, that'll be your best route. Um, so you see we're losing this game pretty bad um, again this is my first King of the Hill from Blacklight and uh, yeah I wasn't really paying attention to the objective which is really bad you should always be trying to play for the objective I know Call of Duty has kind of taught people to uh, just kind of worry about kills and nothing else but uh, that's how you lose games and you get more GP for winning games so yeah try to try to stick with the objective is my, my advice um, other game types I've played, I've played Kill Confirmed, which is good, exactly like it is in Call of Duty. Uh, oh, this is kind of funny. Apparently they have uh, like little spawn points you can put down, which is right there, and this guy spawned as soon as I got into this. I didn't even know that was in the game, but apparently, apparently it is. Um, yeah, I played Kill Confirmed, it's good, just like it is in Call of Duty. I uh, played another one that's kind of like, I guess, Territories in Halo, if you know that, or... I think it's Domination in Call of Duty, um, kind of like that. Just a bunch of spots on the map you want to take over. That was pretty fun. I still prefer Team Deathmatch. I always do in every game I play. Now right here, I make a big mistake in my hard suit. I get it in a hallway. The hard suit is a great tool, but getting it closed in 
Like this is a very bad idea. I think I get hit by like 10 stun grenades when I'm in this thing just because I'm, I put myself in this narrow corridor and it's easy for people to get to me on both sides. The mech is slow. It turns slow, so uh, kind of got to watch out for that. But uh, I do manage to get a few kills with this hard suit and unlock another hard suit, but I never drop it for some reason. I guess I didn't pay attention. But uh, yeah, I get a few kills. I'm trying at this point to get out of this corridor because I realized it was a very bad idea. The hard suit is best used in the open, pretty much. I mean, you don't want to be so much in the open that people can snipe you from across the map or whatever, hit your weak spots, but you want to be in a pretty open area. Uh, flamethrower is the mech's worst enemy, the hard suit's worst enemy, because it can burn you out of that hard suit in about two or three seconds, and then the hard suit... <laughs> that was another funny uh, commentary there. Um, and then the hard suit is left there. The flamethrower doesn't completely destroy the hard suit, so it's kind of left for your enemies to take after they kill you. So yeah, that that's some advice for uh, if you're going up against the hard suit, definitely grab a flamethrower. It it will just burn you right out of it. Oh, they have a hard suit. Yay. Um. So yeah, what else? Um. I think that's all the game types I've played. I'm sure there's more. I think I've finally played on all the maps now. Uh, this is pretty good map. Not one of my favorites, but there aren't any really bad maps in the game. There's one that I really don't like. Um, I can't remember what it's called now. I think it's Offshore is the one I don't like. And I, in my last video, I said that map was out Offshore, but I was wrong. It was called something different. Pile Driver, I think. So uh, that, the real Offshore map I do not care for at all. And then... Um, there's another one called Vertigo, I think, which is okay. It's not one of my favorite maps either. A lot of a lot of long range sniper shots, and I've never been big into sniping. Um. So yeah, I wish I would remember to record more. I've had so many games where I think I'm recording and then realize halfway through I'm not, and they're really good games. So uh, I've been kind of unlucky lately in that. It always seems that for some reason the games I do record on. I do worse and the ones I don't record on I do better. I don't know why. I guess just because I kind of think about the fact that I'm recording once I start and I just kind of, I don't know. Just, I just do worse when I'm recording. So it's rare for me to get a really good game where I've been recording. And it really pisses me off because like I said, there's a lot of times I think I'm recording and I'm, there's this one game I had a few days ago. I was just pulling off some of the craziest shots, getting people that I shouldn't have been able to kill and then Th three quarters of the way through the match, I realized I'm not even recording, and it just kind of ruined it for me, and I ended up failing the rest of the match, but, oh well, that's pretty much going to do it for this game, we do lose, but I win, as far as my team goes, that'll pretty much do it, guys, thanks for watching.